about they're only what four or five games back from the four and a half. Thirteenth place. I mean, you should buy if anything. You're right there. Okay. Okay, goo. This was there's a lot at stake according to Farhan Zaidi this year, and if there's a lot at stake, you can't sell, right? Uh, you could sell and you could sell immediately. That's the way I look at it. So anyway, well, that, what are we doing? Listen, I'm the, okay. Here's what we're doing. I'm watching the Giants game last night, and we're going to get into 49er training camp because that's what's really going on. But I'm I'm watching the Giants game last night. What Bill Barnwell said, "Good God, that's a bargain. It's a bargain for Joe Montana. I mean, uh, Brock Purdy. Oh, that's a Freudian slip right there. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm watching the Giants last night, and I'm seeing Robbie Ray dealing. He's excited. He's clenching his fist. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. He's not clenching his fist because he's looking forward to the second half of the season and he thinks he can help get the Giants back into this thing. Come on. He's clenching his fist because he's rooting for himself. He's rooting for himself, Spadoni. He's trying to get himself right and get himself up on out of here. How about this? I haven't heard much of this. You know the Giants top the the four highest paid player on the Giant highest paid players on the Giants all have player options at the end of this year. They all have player options. Snell, Ray, Conforto, and Chapman. They all can just walk. I mean right there it is. Right there is the issue with the Giants. They got four guys who Nobody knows if they're going to be here. They probably don't want to be here. Start to worry that the Giants are just a way station for guys to get right and then move on. And that is the one thing we've been talking about for years with this team, that they just don't have anybody who's a familiar face, other than Logan Webb, that you can get behind year after year after year. And that may be all I say about the Giants today, but please, please spare me. But you say that. Don't you want to start building some camaraderie then? So Absolutely. What you, so wouldn't you want to keep these guys? If I mean, and, and listen, I, do I think they're going to make the playoffs as of July 25th, 2024, the year of our Lord? No, I do not think they're going to make the playoffs right now. I think there's a lot of better offenses ahead of them. But you could sell me on, you know what, let's ride this thing out. If if we finish above 500, we just missed the playoffs, but Snell and Ray look good, and we'll take the chance that, you know what, they'll opt out, but we can re-sign them. We'll give them a boatload of... We'll give them a Giants tax, if you will. We have to pay a Giants tax. so a little bit more, but let's keep them... I, I could understand it. Now, will the fan base understand that, though? Like, I, I question where Giants fans are right now when right. it comes to this team, because, listen... If you're just trying to be a competitive team, you have to be good at two out of three spots for me. Either you have to have a good offense, a good bullpen, or good starting pitching. You have to have two of those three if you want to be a competitor to the playoffs. Right now, maybe they have one of those, and right as of late, it's been starting pitching. Sure, Bullpen's trash. Uh, Offense, like great. They scored seven runs in the eighth inning or whatever they did yesterday. Congratulations. But for the most part, it's been atrocious. Chapman... He's who Matt Chapman is. He's a career 240 hitter. He'll hit some bombs here and there. But for the most part, that's who he is. Jorge Soler has been a disappointment. Uh, Conforto, when he's been healthy, sure, he's been salt, but not really. Even him. That's another guy I would probably try to move off of. A guy like that, a guy like maybe Yastrzemski, Estrada. Guys that maybe have a year left in this team. But for guys that I think could stick around for a couple years, like, yeah, I would like to see what Blake Snell can do at the end of the year. I would like to see what Robbie Ray could do at the end of the year if we are sniffing around the playoffs still. The problem is, to your point, though, like the player option is just like, and we always make fun of it for Farhan Zaidi. It's like, oh, he loves the player options. He loves the player options. He does those because he knows players, players are going to bet on themselves when they come here. The Giants have turned into a place where you go to reshape your career. Yep. So you can play elsewhere. No and doubt. that's not where you want to be. That's what the Oakland A's were. Like, yeah, think about the exactly. Oakland A's. That was what, you know, the Scott Casmers of the world, the the Sean Doolittles. Ben McDonald? Sure. There you go. Ben Sheets? Barry Zito, old man, came back to the A's at the end. I don't even know if you're trying to revitalize his career, but you get what I'm saying. Yep. Like, I think he was staying there for more for the Triple A team at the time, Nashville, because he liked to do his music stuff. But, like, that's the territory they are in right now. And this team won three World Series since 2010, and now they're a farm team? That is where I would have a tough time 
accepting that if they do trade all these guys. Now, do I think they're going to trade Robbie Ray, Steiny? Probably not. Blake Snell, though, that's the one for me. If I'm a AL contender, if I'm the Yankees, if I'm the Orioles, if I'm the Guardians, yeah, that looks sexy to me. So if you don't trade Robbie Ray, what if he just walks? The end of the year. Comes a free agent. It's tough. I mean, I here's where I hey, think. Hey, Robbie, we gave you a chance, and, and we were betting on you. We'll pay you more than another team will. We'll pay you a couple years uh, more. If you need more excited, like, there's a Giants tax that has to be paid, Steiny, and I, I will go you. over and beyond. But to your point, they've whiffed a lot when it comes to these guys. There's no denying that. What I think is, I think the Giants fan base right now has become so cynical that if they don't do anything at the deadline, people are going to snort. If they buy at the deadline, people are going to snort louder. And if they sell at the deadline, people are going to snort too. And what I'm getting at is, I, at this point, with this team and these players, I, I would absolutely see if I could move those four guys and get eight, ten prospects in here that nobody's ever heard of. I, I would, because to me the alternative is, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're in 12th place. 12th. Let's move on. You know, it's a good thing Goo isn't here today. Because I'll tell you what, I was coming in and I was going to say, Goo, I'm not, you, you know, I, I was sitting around the house last night thinking about life. And uh, I was starting to get mad at Goo because I, I wanted to ask him today, when are we going to start talking about Bay Area teams realistically? When you're, you're thinking about life and then you got mad at Goo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's where the life is at for Matt Stein. I was going to come out to, today with Goo and say, Goo, you know what? I'm done talking about Bay Area teams in an unrealistic manner. Oh, We got the Warriors. They're, they're in trouble. We got the Giants. They are at a crossroads. But we do have the Niners. They got the shot at it. They have a shot at it, a realistic shot at it. However, how would you think they're, uh, how would you describe their first day of training camp? 